making some pheasant curry. Uh, my dad shot this pheasant on a shoot recently. Shout out to the Hendersons for a great shoot. This one goes out to all my chaps and chapettes with a fat trust fund. And first we're gonna add our ginger, chili, garlic, leek, uh, pepper and red onion to the pan. Just to start browning up. Then after that we'll add our red Thai chili paste. And then after that we'll add our pheasant and then that's pretty much most of what we've got to do. So add our olive oil, which is a bit difficult with one arm, just to drizzle. And then we can pop in all of our ingredients, which we're going to have to... Oh no! <laughs> Right, we're now putting in our red uh, Thai chili paste, and before we do this, you may have noticed that I was struggling to put uh, the ingredients into the pan. I've hurt my arm a bit, so that's why everything was pre chopped up, because I've had had to have some assistance. Plankton cheated. But anyway, we're going to put our chili paste in now, and then we can stir it all into our other ingredients and we'll just let that break into or break up in the pan and it's just going to give a lot of the flavour to the curry. Right so now we are going to be putting in our pheasant which I actually uh, took the breasts off the bird nice and diced it up into some smaller pieces to put into our curry and I thought I might not show that because it might get taken off YouTube but <laughs> we're, we'll now just let this brown and then we've got not much more to add other than the coconut water which will give the curry just a bit more liquid and some a few more veggies towards the end so now we're going to add some just more traditional veggies that are usually in a Thai curry. We've got some baby corn, some sugar snap peas and some courgettes. We're just adding them a bit later because they don't need as long in as they'll brown quicker. And then we've not got much left to do other than the coconut milk, which as I said before will just liquidify the meal. But yeah, not much more to do. Right, so we're now ready to add our coconut milk and open the tin up and we're just going to pop this in and on the other side of the agar we've got some rice just to go with our uh, curry and as you can hear that's gone down quite a lot because of the excess amount of liquid and so in a minute we're going to move it to the other side which is a lower heat as, and then we'll just leave it there to simmer for about five to 10 minutes. And then we're pretty much ready to eat. Right, so just before we are finished with letting, letting it simmer down, we're just going to add like a couple drops of fish sauce. It's very strong, so don't add too much. And then we are ready to place up. First, we've got our rice. and then just garnish it with a bit of coriander and chilli so there we go that is our pheasant curry and yeah 
Thank you very much for watching. This looks very tasty. Bye.